in Florida, a very unusual, I mean, this is not usual in the region, and frightening tornado ripped through Palm Beach over the weekend. Check out these images. It left behind extensive image damage. Yeah, yeah the National Weather Service says that the tornado packed 130 mile per hour winds and carved a path more than three football fields wide. These winds were so strong, it flipped cars and toppled trees, damaged homes, as you might expect, and there miraculously have been no reports of major injuries or fatalities. That is the good news. Let's bring in CBS News correspondent Manuel Bojorquez. What is the current situation? There, it looks pretty sunny. Of course, as tornadoes and storms go uh, in Florida, things pass, uh, things look okay. But what's the latest? Right, the front has now passed, so we're actually getting decent weather. But it was the complete opposite this weekend, and you can see some of that damage behind me. Trees uprooted, others that are still upright are missing branches and limbs that were either sheared off during the storm or have been cut down during the cleanup process, which is well underway in neighborhoods like this one in Palm Beach Gardens. As you talked about, the winds were strong enough to lift cars into the air, and it's amazing that one of those drivers that was in one of those cars. Uh, Police are saying walked away with uh, minor injuries. This was an EF2 tornado, as you mentioned. Peak winds 130 miles per hour was on the ground, according to the National Weather Service, for just a little bit more than two miles. So while this is not the kind of damage you will see in some of those Midwest and Deep South storms or tornadoes where homes have been ripped off their slabs, there is definitely a lot of roof damage and tree damage and damage to a lot of cars uh, that people are now trying to get claims on. Lilia, Tony. Wow, Manny, we're looking at a video of, uh, of a parking lot with the water just skating around there and the winds. Uh, I, I, I'm wondering to myself, what direction would you point the vehicle toward the wind or across the wind? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. What are you hearing from residents though, about damage? Uh, how long is it going to take to clean up? Are they prepared for the cleanup? Well, in this particular neighborhood, they've had a full day now to start that cleanup. Uh, we've seen a lot of landscaping crews. That's the first part of it, of course, removing all the debris, those big branches that came down, some of them into roofs. So it will be several weeks, if not months, for people who have that type of damage before they can perhaps get a claim put on it and get everything approved so they can have either a new roof installed or part of the roof uh, replaced. So I'd imagine in places like this where there's also damage to windows and such, people will be staying in other places as they look to rebuild. All right, Manuel Bohorkas for us, Manny. Thank you very much.